Um, hi, I'm Daza Greenwood, a scientist at the MIT Media Lab, uh, where I run law.mit.edu, and also a co-chair of Legal Hackers chapters that are putting on the Open Media Legal Hack this October, um, where we're going to be exploring how technology can put more ownership control in the hands of musicians and artists. And I'm joined by um, Daniel, who is the CTO of Endor, one of the sponsor companies who's making a really innovative blockchain-based um, data and analytics tool available for teams that might want to use this technology uh, for hacking projects um, at, at the hackathon. And I'm just very grateful that you're taking the time to join us, Daniel, and to sponsor the hackathon and um, and to uh, and to um, introduce yourself today and talk um, talk us through a little bit what your tool is and, and, and how it works. So welcome, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Um, so my name is Daniel. I'm the CTO of Endor. Um, Endor is the main platform of doing uh, predictive analytics on top of user behavior. Um, specifically for this hackathon, we're going to be focused on uh, predicting uh, music, um, any predictions in the music field. Uh, and today, we're going to emphasize on um, showing a bit about our tool at Endor and what we developed specifically for you. Uh, so each one of the hackathon participants can uh, can run their predictions on their own laptop or using their own um, notebooks or clouds. Great. Okay. So um, uh, if, if you don't mind doing a little screen share, maybe you could walk us through how it works and then um, um, and perhaps provide a little bit of... Um, you know, background and context about, you know, Endor and, and you know, kind of what the purpose of, of your blockchain is. And then when you're done, um, I'll, I'll do a little screen share and show people where they can find more information on the wiki and the documentation on, on our site. Sound good? Sure. Okay. So at the core basic, Endor looks at uh, data science and machine learning in a different uh, prism. Uh, what we do is instead of looking at sets of data as uh, features, and running uh, standard models on top of them, uh, we're actually clusterizing people by their behavior. Um, and then we, we simply look for other people who might also um, act the same as the, the true positives. Meaning that if we have a lot of data, encrypted data, of course, we only run on encrypted data um, of a specific bank or transactions or um, any other usage in the bank's app, website, um, then we are able to tell uh, who is most likely to take uh, loans in the next few months, who is, uh, is most, most likely to uh, increase his engagement with the bank, and so forth. Uh, this specific use case is, is very specific for bank and for a financial vertical, but actually we're not limited to this vertical. Uh, we also have a few uh, other use cases where we predict uh, traffic jams using uh, data from taxis, uh, detecting uh, terrorists and, and general bad guys from phone calls um, and, and many other use cases. Pretty cool. And boy, it's so timely for this hackathon. Where we're looking to transform the music industry. Um, you know, one of the things uh, that you'll find out more about when you get to MIT is the Music Modernization Act that Open Music Initiative uh, has been working on. And it's going to really change the, the music industry in uh, the United States and beyond by allowing for bulk licensing and um, and simplifying and streamlining all of the streaming and um, and other you know, um, um, you know nature of how music exists as a digital asset in, in the current economy and so that that's going to really put a premium premium on on more tools to to um, to use music as data and then to you get more insights and ways to analyze and and have more automated and uh, data driven processes. So very very timely and uh, can't wait to dig in. So um, do you, you want to um, open up uh, I don't know a terminal or something and show us how to install, config, and run this? Sure. Uh, so the assets we provide for this hackathon are uh, kind of split into two. Uh, the first one is is the data itself. Uh, which will be shared uh, a bit more closer to the hackathon. Um, and the second part is the actual computation. Uh, the computation is quite uh, controversial because we, uh, the first time, it's the first time that Endor allows people to run uh, scores or, or predictions uh, on their own laptops or the, on their own machines. 
Um, and this is actually the first step towards being completely decentralized and being uh, blockchainized um, as, as the vision of Endora is. So we're going to start by looking at the Docker image, uh, which is shared on the website, on the Hackathon website. Uh, this is this is the actual uh, Docker that is being uh, the actual script for the Docker to be run on top of uh, that is shared in the website. As we see in the output directory, we don't have anything at the moment. Um, if we go back, we can look at the input directory, which is ba which basically has the um, all the data that is actually being uh, is going to be transferred and predicted on. Uh, so specifically, if we look at the kernel, kernel CSV. We can find a lot of uh, IDs. These IDs actually represent um, transactions from uh, users to the actual music. In this case, we're talking about uh, users listening to specific tracks. Um, in this kernel, you have uh, a few columns uh, where the main ones are whites. Uh, white in, in indoor terminology is the true positives, is the people that we actually want to look um, similarities uh, for similarities in, in the actual results. So if we have people who like rock music, we will also find people who also like uh, or, or likely to, to like rock music. Uh, so the important thing here is to actually configure the whites uh, prior to actually predicting uh, or, or running predictions. And once we have the whites, we can go back to the root folder. Okay. Here we can look at the run sh script. The run sh is essentially what it does is it downloads the, the latest version of the endorse core um, and runs it immediately. So if we run it, I already downloaded it for, uh, for us not to wait, uh, not to have some busy waiting right now. Uh, so if we run the script right now, we can see that the docker runs. Awesome. It does a bunch of stuff. It crunches data. It, it's actually looking at the clusters we made uh, from the user transactions. It looked at the whites we configured in the kernel CSV file. There it goes. Okay. And when it finishes, it goes to the output folder, which we can now see a single folder in. Yeah, I see some scoring of the population. So it's, it's crunching the numbers. Right. Uh, so if you go to the actual output, We can see all scores. So right now, what we have um, right here in the output folder is the the IDs of people uh, in our example who are uh, predicted to be. Uh, very likely to, to like rock music as the, the whites we uh, provide him with. Awesome. Yeah, and the second row is actually the probability of these people to, uh, to be very similar to the ones um, inputted as whites. Okay. Uh, is, how do we see that second one? Um, it's, it's the second part after the coma. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay, thanks. Sorry, I'm just seeing this for the first time and sure. just trying to parse through it with you. So what, what can we do from here? I mean, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a bunch of numbers, uh, at the very uh, basic of it. Uh, but what can we predict from here? It, it can range from people who like rock music uh, to uh, people who like specific bands, uh, to music trends, to what's trendy in the UK. Uh, or what's going to be trending in the UK in 2019, for instance. Yep. Uh, we can run so many predictions on top of this data. Um, and essentially, at the, at the very end of the prediction, we can kind of join the IDs we can see here with actual tracks, actual al albums, actual um, artists. That's so fantastic. Very, very timely. You know, one of the things that's going to come up, I think, in the future uh, which maybe people could ex extrapolate from the data that 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 we have um, right now into um, em emerging business models when all the music's available under the Music Modernization Act more easily for um, more automated uh, or at least um, 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 you know programmatically addressable licensing of music. Um, being able to see you know for maybe for other people that have made 
videos of this type or done, um, you know, um, works of this, uh, commercials of this type, what kind of music have they used for this and what music, you know, kind of related to that or that might have similar attributes or features might I want to look to license or, or other things like that? Because it's going to be a data world in music imminently now. So, boy, this is just so, so very timely. Okay, um, well, is, is there anything else that you wanted to show on just, you know, how to how to use this or is that does that kind of wrap up for now what the preview of the of the um application is so this is actually the core essence of of um of this year's hackathons uh -huh. uh, we are planning to release uh so much more so many more tools uh for data validation for statistics and uh, of course the full fledged the full indoor products includes so much more than this uh, for this specific hackathon, we have only one score, uh, but here internally at Endure, we use hundreds of them per prediction. Of course, we run it on a decentralized uh, kind of clusters uh, or distributed clusters, uh, and this is not something we can share for people to run on their own laptops rather than on full clouds or full solutions. Understood. Yeah, and that's, that really gets down to the power and the potential of, of Endor as you kind of described it in the white paper and and uh, and and on your website and actually speaking of that uh, I'm gonna take the screen over for one moment and I just want to show people if you go to open excuse me if you go to legalhackathon.org and um, kind of scroll down 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 um, you'll see under resources um, Endor tools um, and um, you can um, click on this um, video that you're watching now if you want to see it again and relive the moment. Um, but also we've got this other um, uh, wiki page that we've set up uh, for Endor um, and that we'll, we'll keep updating that just goes through um, that, that first part that, that Daniel um, mentioned about, you know, how do you get the Docker image? Um, we've got a link here to um, some script that will let you... Um, kind of um, get the image and and unpack it. And then here's um, just the steps that you take to, you know, kind of kickstart the process to, to be able to do the, um, the, um, the analytics that, that Daniel just showed you. So that's, um, that's how you get to that on, on legalhackathon.org. And, uh, and then we'll be keeping that, um, you know, kind of evolving um, as more documentation comes online um, in the, the days and weeks leading up to the, to the hackathon event and then also um if i'm not mistaken we're going to be um i'll take my screenshot off we're going to be um um very lucky to have um people from endor at the media lab um uh for the the hackathon itself and it'll be available to answer questions and um and uh also we've got a, a telegram channel um and endor has a telegram channel so we'll be able to you know, get a little bit extra support if people want to try to push the tool a little and and come up with some creative projects. Um, so, um, with with that said, um, uh, actually, could I invite you to maybe? Oh, there you go, you did it. Okay, I just wanted to see your your face again while we're closing out. So, I just wanted to thank you so much, Daniel, and your whole team um, at Endor for for being such great collaborators and you know making this um, Docker image um, you know available for the hackathon well I know you've got so much going on as a startup and you've got really big goals and it's it's been um, um, really great uh, working with you so far and being able to see the fruits of your labors now in a way that and that people can get their hands on and, and the, the Docker image part of this at least is open source and uh, we've taken great pains to find data sets that um, people can have rights to use. And so I just want to encourage everybody that's hearing this when it comes to the hackathon and beyond, even after the hackathon, if you discover this video, give it a try um, and see what it can do. Um, and it does a lot more than we're able to cover um, in, the, in this short video and you know, read the white paper um, to learn more about some of the privacy protecting aspects of it and some of the other data-driven model-based um, potential for how this tool can be used and, and amplified with the distributed architecture that blockchain makes available. Um, so thank you, Daniel, and thank you to your whole team. Thank you so much, Deza, for your help and support. Okay.